I'm Jim Hanrahan, and I will be reviewing the Counselor Credential Requirements for the State of North Carolina. For academic requirements, the state requires a minimum of 60 semester hours or 90 quarter hours of graduate training as defined by the board, which includes a master's degree in counseling or related field from an institution of higher education that is accredited by the Council for Accreditation of Counseling and Related Educational Programs. The required coursework areas of study are helping relationships and counseling, practicum and internship, professional orientation to counseling, human growth and developmental theories in counseling, social and cultural foundations in counseling, group counseling theories and processes, career counseling and lifestyle development, assessment and counseling, and finally research and program evaluation. Supervised graduate counseling will consist of a minimum of 300 hours of graduate counseling experience of a rate of not less than one hour of clinical supervision per 40 hours of graduate counseling experience. At least 180 hours of this counseling experience shall be direct counseling experience. Upon graduating from the master's program, the individual will be required to take the National Counselor Examination before they can qualify for the first tier, which is the Licensed Professional Counselor Associate, or the LPCA. To obtain the next tier, and to obtain the title of Licensed Professional Counselor, or LPC, requires an individual to have completed a minimum of 3,000 hours of supervised professional practice as determined by the board. The last tier is the Licensed Professional Counselor Supervisor, or LPCS. I won't go into details here, but it requires a significant time investment. Newly issued licenses will be effective upon the date of issuance by the board and shall expire on the 2nd June 30th thereafter. The renewal period for a newly issued license may be less than two years. And after that, the renewal expiration date does remain uh, fixed at June 30th. 40 contact hours of continuing counselor education, including a minimum of three contact hours of ethics, shall be completed within the two-year license renewal period. However, in the cases of newly issued licenses in which the initial renewal period is less than two full years, 30 contact hours, including a minimum of three contact hours of ethics, shall be completed. So there's a little break. My main question doesn't necessarily refer to the credentialing requirements. I, I think they're pretty straightforward. But rather, I, I think like most people, I question how I'm going to manage the, the time and energy that it's going to take to achieve my goal of becoming a licensed professional counselor. And I, I, I think a lot of that's going to be based around leaning on my, my peer support group and uh, just focusing on what I'm trying to achieve here. Thanks for listening to me, and I will talk to you soon.